everyone, it's Monday and it's Lesbian Central here with Haley. I'm in a different setting. Oh, I'm back home right now just for just for a few more hours. It's my March break from school, so came home for a little bit. But I brought my there's little my baby up there. Oh hey, hey, hey. Not on mom's nice baronet jar. Bethy will not enjoy that. I brought my pandy bear home with me because he cannot be left alone in my apartment in Toronto. Topics. Let's get into topics. Let me just find them here. Okay, so the first topic is the topic of lesbian bed death. And if we think it's a real thing, what to do about it, is it normal? And then number two is uh, tips and tricks on how to get past your first fight in a relationship. Let's go for the lesbian bed death one. Okay, um, if we think it's real. I'm just gonna go from my experience. I think to an extent, yes. It does exist. Okay, if you guys don't know, first of all, what lesbian bed death is, it's, um, first of all, you are have never watched The L Word, like Lauren, talking to her yesterday. We were out at Starbucks and we were talking about the topics and I just mentioned lesbian bed death and I said, well, come on, everyone knows what it is if you've watched The L Word. She's never seen The L Word. Lauren has never watched The L Word, girls. What up with that? She, she can't even be a real lesbian. It's the tendency of lesbians that... When they've been in, oh, excuse me, a relationship for a certain amount of time, um, it's kind of like you just become, hi buddy, become best friends and lesbian bed death is kind of like the sex disappears. And you're just kind of like two best buds, spend all your time together, you hang out, then you go to bed, you kiss each other goodnight, mwah, and then you sleep. And there's no sex in the relationship anymore, hence lesbian bed death. I do think that this does tend to happen, but I don't think it's a lesbian thing. I think it's a relationship thing. When you first start dating someone, things are new and things are exciting and you want to be with them all the time. You, you're just, you spend all your time together and of course you're going to have, not of course, but you're going to have sex. You're probably going to have a lot of sex because it's new and you've never had sex with this person before. So you, you want to do it and then you want to do it again and again and again. And it's just, that's what happens in, usually in a relationship. And then after a certain amount of time, I'm going to say like around maybe like the four to six month period, I kind of just pulled that out of thin air, um, things kind of, they start to settle down. And the novelty of the relationship is kind of wearing off. Um, you've gotten used to each other, you're comfortable with each other. And maybe that need for the consistent physical intimacy isn't there because you're just comfortable. And also life gets in the way. You can't have sex every single night. I mean, some people might be able to, but sometimes you're just freaking tired. You're tired, you have a you've had a long day. So I don't necessarily think, like I said, it's a lesbian thing. What to do if you find that you're in a relationship where like the, the sexiness is kind of not there anymore. Talk to your partner about it. If it's something that's important to you, some couples might be completely okay with this. Um, only like just not, making sex a top priority in a relationship. It doesn't have to be. It's a personal thing, really. Maybe just try and yourself plan a few like cutesy nights, candles and, and stuff and lingerie if that's your thing. I don't know. Do that kind of stuff. Personally, sex is an important part of a relationship to me. It's just, not even just the sex, but just being physically close to another person. It's re reassuring to me. I like that. I'm a very touchy-feely person. I like to be close. I like to be holding hands and cuddling and I'm all into PDA to an extent. I, it's something that I would try and combat early on. And I just, I like to keep things exciting and still feeling new. And I like the, the, that kind of stuff. So it's a big important thing to me that I would really put a lot of effort into maintaining in my relationship. Um, and then the other topic is how to get past your first fight. I don't think I have time to talk about this and I actually really like this one because it's inevitable and the first fight in a relationship is kind of like monumental and it can kind of make or break things and it says a lot about a person, but I don't have time. Those are my boobs. We're going to put those away now. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If you're on March break, have a great March break and I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.